I'm Thomas Becker and I'm Head of Customer Security with Blockit. Blockit as a platform has uh, users from all parts of society and all ages. You have uh, elder people selling furs, you have students trading their furnitures when they have to move every six months and stuff like that. So it's a very broad spread of, of user characters and knowledge and experience on how to use internet. One thing that has changed over the years is that I saw that in a customer ticket where a user said, I know that this is a fraud and I know it's not you sending it, but I expect you to stop this. I mean, if, if we bring, uh, bring people into internet to do business and to, to interact with others, uh, we should of course also take our responsibility as a company to provide a safe environment for people to do whatever they want to do on the internet with our service. I would say that the main problem with mail carried fishes is the fact that it's so many messages being sent out to so many people that are being affected about something connected to your brand. Of course this would affect your business and the trust towards your business and the likeliness to go on doing business with you. The method is actually the, the fraudsters use brands that they know have a well-known, that is very well-known amongst people. Sometimes uh, in those mass mails sent out, they targeted email addresses that actually never were used on Blockit. But the user himself has perhaps used another email address and used our service. So they automatically figured that they probably know that I'm a Blockit user, it's probably Blockit asking me anyway. In the whole, uh, fighting fishing for your brand and for your corporate business is a matter of uh, uh, three parts. Get into the problem and realize the volume of it by, by actually doing a dry round and see the volume. Uh, figure out whether this is something that we could go on communicating away or just removing the problem and focus on issues that are connected to your core business. So you have to have a genuine awareness education within the company for your employees, uh, making them aware that this can occur and uh, then implementing a technical solution which will make it harder for the fraudster to both attack people within the company with fake messages from C-level people asking for money uh, transfers and stuff like that. We got in touch with the CSC regarding the takedowns and they also informed us that they were cooperating with a company who actually could help us out with certifying our own emails and stopping the fake ones.